Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question linked list random node. In this question we are given a single linked list and we need to return a random node's value from the linked list. Each node must have the same probability for being chosen. A follow-up problem is given with the question and we will look into that later on. We will first try to come up with a problem that uses an extra space and that is easier to implement. So let's see how we can solve this problem with using an extra space. So initially we will need an array list. Now we will store all the values into this list by iterating over the linked list. Once we have all the values in the list, we know the size of the list and we can just return a random value by getting a random index. So this will be our first approach to solve this problem. When we run this code, we get the right result. Now let's submit this code. So now the code got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is for this constructor, it is O of n because we are iterating over all the linked list. For the get random function, it is O of 1 because we are directly getting the values. The space complexity is O of n as we are using a list to store all the values. Now coming to the follow up questions. Now what if the linked list is extremely large and the length is unknown to us, could we solve this problem without using an extra space? Now that makes sense because if the linked list is very large and the length is unknown to us, in that scenario the memory it consumes is will be very great. So in order to remove this space usage, we will be using a concept called reservoir sampling. Let's see what this concept is and how we can solve this problem using that approach. Suppose we are given an array of 10 numbers and we need to select 3 values with equal probabilities. Now this problem statement is different from what we have for today's problem but this makes sense and it will be more clear if we see that this way. Now to solve this problem and selecting 3 values with the equal probability what we need to do is we need to apply reservoir sampling. Now what is a reservoir sampling? Reservoir sampling is a randomized algorithm that is used to select k out of n samples where n is usually very large or unknown. Now reservoir sampling is mainly used in a data stream where the amount or length of the data is not known to us beforehand. Now there are many algorithms based on reservoir sampling. We will be discussing algorithm R over here. Let's suppose we have a reservoir of length 3 and we need to fill this reservoir with any of the 3 values from this array. All the 3 values should be of the equal probability. Now we will see how the probability is equal in every case. Firstly what we need to do is in the algorithm we will copy all the first k values or 0 to k into the reservoir itself. Now when we do that what happens is every value will have a probability of 1 by i and there will be k values. So the total probability of the reservoir becomes k by i. Once we have calculated this probability, we'll keep it side. Now we'll move to the next element that is 4. Now suppose we have one more value other than the reservoir we have 4 over here and we need to select out of this 4 3 values with equal probability. Now in this case selecting each value in this i plus 1 value to be a part of reservoir will be of probability k by i plus 1. And probability of this item replacing the value in the reservoir will be 1 by k because there are k values in the reservoir. So there will be only one value to be replaced in this k reservoir so the probability of each value being replaced becomes 1 by k. So the probability of selecting a value from i plus 1 value and this value replacing the value in the reservoir becomes 1 by i plus 1 and the probability of selecting this value and then this value not replacing the value in the reservoir becomes 1 minus 1 by i plus 1 which is i by i plus 1. So now all the values in the reservoirs are the values which were selected and not replaced. So that becomes k by i into i by k plus 1 which is k by i plus 1. And each value in this list or array has the same probability of k by i plus 1 which is an equal probability for all values to be the part of reservoir. As the value of i will be highest 9 
so i plus 1 becomes 10 that is n n k becomes 3 which is 3 by 10 so the probability of every value becomes 3 by 10 which is an equal probability now the question that we have can use reservoir sampling because we can consider the reservoir to be 1 when the value of k is 1 the probability of each value being selected is equal now let's see how we can code this let's reset this so we need to have a head so now as the reservoir is of one length we'll have a current which will be equals to head as it is a linked list we'll have this index with us now we will loop till this current is not null that we have traversed over the whole list now we need to find a random value between 0 and i and if this value is less than k which is 1 then only we can update our current that is replace the current value with the value that we have found else we will continue moving forward so to do so we will have a math.random function now this value if it is less than r 1 by i if this value is uh, less than this then we need to take this value or as we say in reservoir sampling to replace this value now to do so we'll have a result variable as well which will initially be 0 and in this result we'll have a current dot well if that is the case then we increment i over here to include the next value and also move the current to the next after this is done we'll simply return the result let's run this code so it is running fine let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity of this algorithm changes as in the constructor the time complexity becomes o of 1 that because we are not doing any operations in it while in the get random function which is called recursively the time complexity becomes o of n the space complexity is o of 1 as we are not using any extra space there are many variations of this algorithm which are quite fast i will leave that up to you to try thanks for watching see you in the next one